Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make a future garage beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to 135 beats per minute and the project key to G minor. Before I sequence a beat, I'm going to make my own drum kit to give this project a unique flavor. I feel like I want a rim shot style snare as the first element, so I open BandLab Sounds, select the One Shots tab, and enter Rim. Snare Rim 2 is the kind of sound I'm looking for, so I create a new sampler track and drag Snare Rim 2 onto the first sample pad. You'll notice that the sample begins slightly before the transient of the rim shot. So I move the sample start marker to the right so that the rim shot plays nice and tightly. Next, I'd like a kick, so I enter kick into the text search field. Kick 504 is the sound I want, so I drag this onto the second sample pad. Again, I move the sample start marker so the kick plays tightly. The final element of my kit will be a hi hat, so I search for hat and select Grime 101 Hi Hat. This goes onto the third sample pad. And again, I edit the start point. This sound is a little too loud relative to the kick and snare, so I set its volume parameter to minus 3 dB. I program a beat with snares on the second and fourth beat, and kicks on the first beat and between the third and fourth beat. I also add hats on every eighth note. I duplicate this bar out, giving me a two bar sequence. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I want to add some swing to this drum groove, so I set the view grid size to 132nd and add 30 second note hats at the very end of the first bar and just before the second kick on the second bar. I then return the grid size setting to smart. I then duplicate the two bars out to give me a four bar sequence. I turn this track down to minus 5.5 dB to give me more headroom in the mix to add other elements. Now it's time to add some music. I definitely want a processed vocal sample. So in BandLab Sounds, I select the Loops tab, then set the Instrument Filter to Voice and the Genre Filter to Pop slash R&B. VC Mirage Acapella G Minor 4 Bars 175 is just the sort of thing I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. I open the Effects panel and add a Delay, Filter Echo effect. I set the delay to 456 milliseconds and the feedback to 52%. I'd like a pitch shift effect on this vocal, so I double click the clip to bring up the editor panel and take the pitch shift parameter down to minus 12. This is just the effect I'm looking for. I turn the track's volume down to minus 6 dB. Next, I want to compose some chords that will work with this vocal sample, that will give me something to fit the rest of the track's music around. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth pads, new age synth. I program in a chord progression that plays G minor, A sharp major, G minor. I want to mellow out the sound's high end, so in the effects panel, I add a tone multi filter and set its frequency to 274 Hz. I 
I then add a reverb, Studio Reverb. Setting the mix to 10, and the size to 4.4, which gives the sound an ethereal quality. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. Now I'm going to make a bass line. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth leads, two saw detune. I set this track to minus 3.5 dB. I compose a simple bass line that hits G, A sharp, and F. I want to attenuate the highs, so we just get the low end bass tones. So I add a multi filter and set its frequency to 302 Hz. Now I've got the foundation of a track, and I'd like to add some flavor. In BandLab Sounds, I select the Packs tab and enter Future Garage. I open the Future Garage pack and check out some of the sounds. I feel Future Garage Arch Beats 01 would add an interesting atmospheric touch to my drums. So I drag it into the project. I set this track to minus 6 dB. Future Garage Hardware Synth 03 has a pleasing evolving texture. So I add that next. I set this track to minus 6 dB too. Future Garage Dark Soundscapes 02 would add a darker atmospheric feel that I think would work well with the existing elements. So I add that too. It's slightly longer than the sequence. So I use the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip to truncate it to 4 bars in length. Again, I set this track to minus 6 dB. I'd like to add another layer to the track's drums. So in BandLab Sounds, I select the Loops tab and search for Shaker. I drag FH125 Drums Shaker into the project. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I want to add some more musical elements. So in BandLab Sounds, I select the Packs tab, and this time search for Chill Step. I open the Chill Step pack, and drag Chill Step 140 G Minor Synths 2 Bar 04 into the project. I set this track to minus 9.3 dB. I want the sound to feel more rhythmic, so I add a filter echo, setting the delay to 456 milliseconds. The final element I add is Chill Step 140 F minor synths 8 bar 16. I just want to loop the first part of the sample, so I use the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip to truncate it to just a single bar in length. I then use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for the 4 bar sequence. To make the sound more atmospheric, I add a studio reverb, setting the mix to 10, and the size to 5.2. I set this track to minus 6 dB. For the arrangement, I kick off with my drum kit, the dark soundscape, and the delayed chill step synth. Then the chords come in. Then the vocal, atmospheric future garage loop, and the synth atmosphere come in. 
the reverb synth comes in. On bar 33, the bass drops. The shaker is then added. On bar 49, I pare things down to just the beats, bass, and atmospheres. Then I bring the reverbed chill step synth back in. Here we have a breakdown where the reverb synth, shaker, and future garage loop create a minimal, mystical atmosphere. The chords are then reintroduced. The vocal and delayed synth are then added. On bar 89, the beats and bass drop again. The synth and dark atmospheres are reintroduced. The vocal and reverb synth drop out. Then the atmospheres drop out. By bar 121, we're down to the beats, bass, and future garage loop. The outro consists of just the drum kit and future garage loop. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!